Hey, welcome back to another epidose of these crazy guys that just eat meat and never shut up about it. Tonight, another short rib event. Justin and I are going to cover some quick topics. So we have some short videos for people to pass around answering some straightforward questions as succinctly as possible. So tonight, Justin, what is our question? Is the carnivore diet just another fad diet? Is it just going to disappear? Are people just going to not talk about it in five years? You know, is, is it really going to be sticking around? Is it just going to grow or is this it? It's peaked. People are going to go back to eating salads and their green smoothies and their juices. You know, the, the MCT oil will probably stick around, but maybe they'll just lose the meat. <laughs> Yeah, no, I think the key in, in understanding the carnivore diet is understanding where it came from. And uh, it, it came from how we uh, ate for the last 3.7 million years minimum. So we've been eating this way for a long time. We have the archaeological evidence. We have the evidence from physics, you know, on the atomic level. Where, you know, they, they go in and measure the isotopes in the fossils. Um, and they can tell exactly what that person or animal is eating based on those those nitrogen isotopes and other isotopes as well. And then we have the archaeological evidence of just, you know, the trash pits, the bones, uh, the tools, and on and on and on. So I say this is not a fad diet. It's been continuous for millions of years. And uh, we evolved to eat meat because we ate meat, you know that's who we are so that's why it's not a fad diet and they've done brain scans where you can actually scan the scans a brain scan people that are vegan and vegetarian that abstain from meat or that will be like oh i don't like meat i don't like the taste of meat or you know i'm you know it's because for the animals that i don't eat meat and you can actually uh show them images of meat while they're under mri or brain scan and the same area of the brain will light up in response and become active to seeing the meat. It's that ingrained as the same as a person that's an omnivore or eats meat regularly or that enjoys meat. Yeah, we're wired to eat meat. And the fact is we've just been confused with all this nonsense about plants and fiber. And they talk about plants like, oh, it's got some of this in it or some of that in it. And then it's so it's good for you to eat. But they don't talk about the downside or the fact that we just didn't evolve to eat all these plants. In fact, we've been breeding all these plants to make them edible because most plants in nature are completely inedible to humans. They're just outright toxic. So just go to your, your grocery store, go to the produce section, pick any fruit or vegetable, look up the history of it and realize we didn't evolve to eat that stuff. So I think that's why people find such great health benefits from eating meat and getting rid of all that. So anyways, you got anything else to stamp that with there, Justin? No, I think that covers it. All right. Well, I want to thank everybody for watching. Uh, I hope you enjoy these nice uh, short ribs and uh, please subscribe to the channel because it really helps leave us comments let us know what questions you'd like us to answer maybe you you know you're a carnivore and you get a question all the time and you wish you had some short succinct video that you could send out to people so they could get a quick explanation so let us know what you'd like to see and uh thanks janice and uh raymond for for nudging us to get this done uh janice done a good job of setting the buy the, <laughs> the bar really high so uh until next time hey Eat lots of meat, feel better, and whatever you do, don't, don't fall, fall down, down the carb hole. The fiber hole, right?